What's going on guys? Marco here with Dynasty Nerds and I am bringing you my week five trade targets. All right guys, so I am bringing you four people that I think, or four players that I think you need to be trading for right now. Two of them are kind of capitalizing on, on opportunity, and then two of them you might have to pay a little extra for, but they are buy highs, believe it or not. All right, so let's start with the first one. It's obvious, we don't need to talk about it for too long. It's DeAndre Swift. He's going to be out for probably this week in week five, then he's got a bye week. So he's still out for a little while. And if there is a manager uh, who really, really, needs a win. They're coming in 0 and 4. They're coming in 1 and 3. They're coming in 2 and 2, but know that their running back room needs help. I am okay making a move for DeAndre Swift right now. Now, there's not a ton of players I wouldn't trade for DeAndre Swift. I'll say that now because in Dynasty especially, he's my running back 1. He is my running back 1 after what we've seen uh from him so far this season. Sure, the injuries, they're always a concern, but Look at Jonathan Taylor. Look at Christian McCaffrey. Outside of Saquon Barkley, so far, almost everyone's been hurt at this point. And so there's really not much I'm not willing, or I'm, there's really not much I'm willing to, uh, not willing to give up for DeAndre Swift. In redraft leagues, of course, you got to be a little bit more cautious because you don't know what he's going to do, when he's going to be back for sure. So that being said, if you have a specific, because with DeAndre Swift, it's probably going to be a blockbuster deal, whether it be Dynasty or Redraft. Drop your trade questions below. Hit me up on Twitter at Marco underscore 14P and I'll answer any questions. But here are some players that have been performing well that I'm okay trading for DeAndre Swift right now. If you want to package Damian Pierce and Chris Olave in redraft leagues, let me say that again, in redraft leagues for uh, DeAndre Swift, I'm doing that right now. And I know you're like, whoa, that's two players. Do it. Because the reality is Chris Olave, wherever you drafted him, he is not a necessary part to your team. He's been a nice boost to your team. And a Damian Pierce is one of those guys who's getting a lot of work, but DeAndre Swift is infinitely better than Damian Pierce. All right. Now, Dynasty Leagues, it's a little bit of a different story. You got to really kind of navigate this well. And it's hard trading for young running backs, especially ones who have some injury concerns. But right now, if you are a Javante Williams owner and you lost him for the season and the, maybe the team that has DeAndre Swift isn't necessarily contending right now, you can trade them someone like a Javante plus, Javante and Brandon Ayuk and go get DeAndre Swift. Maybe they really liked Javante Williams even more than, than DeAndre Swift and you can make a deal there where it's a one for one and maybe get a piece back. Those are the deals I'm making right now for DeAndre Swift. The next one is a guy I talked about in my wide receiver starts video. And this is very much redraft specific, but if you're in a dynasty league and you're win now, I don't think you'd have to trade much to go get Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel is one of those guys where he's likely to get injured this season. You know, we haven't seen a full healthy season from him um, where he wasn't even, you know, hobbled during a game ever. You know, he, he's played a lot of his games, but there's been major concerns along the way. And so with Curtis Samuel right now, though, he is dominating when it comes to opportunities. He is second in the league in opportunities per game behind only Cooper Cup. And even heading into week four, he was ahead of Cooper Cup. He had a down week last week, but he still led the team in targets. He is one of those guys where if you are a contender in a dynasty league or you are looking in redraft for that wide receiver that some people might not fully be bought into, Curtis Samuel is the answer. Now, what are you trading for Curtis Samuel in redraft leagues? There's a good amount of things I'm okay trading. It depends what your team looks like, of course, with all trades. I'm okay trading a guy who I really, really like in AJ Dillon for Curtis Samuel. And of course, you probably need to make sure you have some decent depth at running back, but you likely didn't draft AJ Dillon to be your RB2. Maybe some people did if you really went you know, late running backs, but likely you can trade an AJ Dillon and get Curtis Samuel plus a little bit. Maybe you want to wait a week or two, and I'm okay with that, but I think in redraft, those are the kinds of deals that you want to make. If you have other questions about redraft trades for Curtis Samuel, hit, drop them below, hit me up on Twitter. Um, Dynasty-wise, I'm not trading a lot, but I would trade a 2024 second for Curtis Samuel right now. I would trade a 2023 second for Curtis Samuel and a 2023 third. Those are the kinds of moves I'm making. And if, if someone comes back and says, no, I just want the 2023 second, it might hurt because I know a lot of people are really passionate about that 2023 draft. But if you're a contender, I'd much rather get Curtis Samuel than hold on to that 2023 second. All right. 
Now my two buy highs. Uh, I, I'm excited to talk about these guys because they're guys that I really hyped up in the offseason, even though especially one of them was being faded quite a bit. So we'll start with him. DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf has proven to everyone that he's the wide receiver that everyone said he couldn't be. That's the truth. Sure, he had a couple down weeks early. It was a new quarterback, you know, a new era for the Seattle Seahawks. He still saw plenty of volume. He had the fumble, which kind of made his uh, week one numbers look a little bit worse. But here's the reality. DK Metcalf is likely a top 15 wide receiver the rest of the season. Their schedule looks really nice. And Geno Smith is looking for DK Metcalf early and often. And he's still finding a way to get Tyler Lockett involved. So it's not like, oh, Tyler Lockett's going to start taking away a ton of targets from DK. Because Tyler Lockett's been getting his and DK's been getting his. I don't think he's going to see 10 plus targets every game like he did in week four. But the reality is DK Metcalf is a key part of this offense. He is an elite wide receiver. I don't know why anyone was really, really worried about a physical freak like him who plays the wide receiver position well. He was one of my guys where I was much higher than consensus going into the season. I had him as my wide receiver 15 heading into this season. And he has just proven to us right now that he is really a special talent. And if you can go get DK Metcalf in redraft leagues, there's not a ton that I'm not like I would trade Debo Samuel straight up for DK Metcalf. And I know that's heresy because everybody loves Debo Samuel. And he had a really good week this in week four. I would trade Debo Samuel for DK Metcalf in redraft or in dynasty. And you could probably make that trade straight up if you want. But the reality is everybody is so in love with Debo Samuel right now that you can trade Debo Samuel for DK Metcalf plus. And I am totally okay making a deal like that. I am okay trading, uh, you know, even if you're a contender right now and you lost Javante Williams on the season and you're like, okay, I don't really need a running back. You know, he was my running back too. I'm okay trading Javonta Williams to a rebuilding team that has DK Metcalf for DK Metcalf and a pick. Those are the kinds of moves that might hurt you a little bit, but it helps you this season. And if you're a contender, that little bit of emotional pain to give up a future asset is not going to really mean a thing when you're fighting for a championship at the end of the season. And DK Metcalf can get you there. All right, the next guy I want to talk about quickly, because I know we're running a little long here, it's Hollywood Brown. He is a guy who I think a lot of people believe will lose a lot of target volume when DeAndre Hopkins gets back. And while he probably will lose some, I have said this since the beginning of the offseason, Hollywood Brown is going to lead this team in targets not just until uh, DeAndre Hopkins gets back, but even after DeAndre Hopkins gets back. He is getting just peppered with targets. He's looked really good this year. He's had some moments of inefficiency, but that's going to happen on a Cliff Kingsbury offense that looks really, really weird. It's not super exciting, even though it has a lot of pieces to make it exciting. DeAndre Hopkins looked a little bit like he was on a some of a, somewhat of a decline last season. And while I think DeAndre Hopkins is still an amazing wide receiver, Hollywood Brown is my pick to be the wide receiver one for this team, even when Hop gets back. And I think he is probably going to be a top 15, maybe even top 12 wide receiver for the rest of the season. Right now, I think he's sitting at like wide receiver eight on the season or something like that. So in redraft, there's a ton of moves you can make right now for Hollywood because of just varying value. So I'm not going to dive too much into that. If you want specifics, hit me up on Twitter at Marco underscore 14 P. Dynasty wise, there is... A little bit of nuance here because he's a guy who's had ups and downs and he's on this new team and Hopkins is coming back. And so there's a really nice window here to capitalize because when Hopkins, uh, as we get closer and closer to that week six mark when Hopkins returns or week seven mark when Hopkins returns, you are going to have more and more of a window. So you don't have to necessarily buy him right now, but sometime in the next two weeks, I'm buying Hollywood Brown. If you can trade Brandon Ayuk and a 2023 second for Hollywood Brown, I'm doing that. If you could trade... Brandon Ayuk and A.J. Dillon for Hollywood Brown, and you aren't reliant on A.J. Dillon, I'm fine doing that deal. Again, there are so many different roster constructions and so many different leagues and formats that the trade options I'm giving you can only apply to so many people. So please drop your questions below. Hit me up on Twitter. Thank you guys for hanging out. Let me know your thoughts uh, and what you want to see in the future, and I'll start bringing some new content to you guys soon. Don't forget to be kind, do good, and I'll see you next time. Peace.